associating partners with Allah in worship, shirk. Shirk contradicts the belief that Allah alone is worthy of worship. While the belief that Allah alone deserves to be worshipped and that all acts of worship must be directed to him constitutes the greatest and most important duty of a Muslim towards his Lord, shirk is considered to be the greatest sin in the sight of Allah and is the only sin which he never forgives without sincere repentance. The Quran says, Allah does not forgive anything being associated with him in worship, but he forgives whoever he wills for anything other than that. Surat an nisa 4.48 When the Prophet was asked about the greatest sin in the sight of Allah, he replied, To set up a rival to Allah in worship, though he alone created you. Sahih al-Bukhari, 42.07 Sahih Muslim, 86 Indeed, shirk renders acts of worship invalid and worthless, as the Quran states, if they had associated others with him, nothing they did would have been of any use. Surat al an nam 6.88 Those who commit the unpardonable sin of shirk will be doomed to hellfire for all eternity, as the Quran states, those who associate anything with Allah in worship, for them Allah has forbidden paradise, and their abode will be the fire. Surat al-Ma'idah 5.72 Shirk is of two types, major shirk and minor shirk. 1. Major shirk This involves directing any act of worship to other than Allah. Therefore, directing words or deeds that Allah loves to him alone testifies to monotheism and true faith, while directing them to other than Allah constitutes an act of unbelief and shirk. Examples of this type of shirk include asking someone other than Allah to cure one of an illness or to increase one's wealth, relying on other than Allah and prostrating to other than him. Allah says, Your Lord says, Call on me and I will answer you. Surat Rafir 40, 60 Put your trust in Allah if you are indeed believers. Surat Al-Ma'ida 5.23 Prostrate before Allah and worship Him. Surat an najm 53.62 Therefore, whoever directs any act of worship to other than Allah is, strictly speaking, an unbeliever. 2. Minor Shirk This involves those words or deeds which serve as a vehicle to commit the major shirk. Examples of this type of shirk include making one's prayer sometimes a little longer or reciting the Qur'an a little louder for the sake of showing off. The Prophet once observed, The thing that I fear most for you is the minor shirk. His companions asked, What is the minor shirk, Messenger of Allah? He replied, Showing off. Musnad Ahmad 23630 However, if a person performs acts of worship entirely for showing off and were not for the sake of people he would never offer the prayer or observe a fast, then he is definitely a hypocrite. Doing so is undoubtedly a major shirk, which takes one out of the fold of Islam altogether. Does asking people amount to committing shirk? Islam aims to free the human mind from the shackles of superstitions and from submitting to none other than the one true God, Allah. Therefore, it is not permissible to ask the dead or inanimate beings for anything, or to humbly submit to them. Doing so constitutes sheer superstition and is a blatant act of shirk. It is permissible, however, to ask the living for whatever they can possibly do, such as saving us from drowning or asking them to pray to Allah for us.